This is easy crock pot corned beef and cabbage. And I just got a couple of simple ingredients. I'm gonna start out with some um, baby potatoes. And I use Yukon Gold baby potatoes because then I don't have to chop them. And also Yukon Gold potatoes hold up really well to long cooking without getting really starchy like ruskets. Having said that, use any potato you have, chunk it if you like, or throw them in whole if they're small. Cut up some carrots, uh, four or six carrots, whatever you like, or, or you can use baby carrots if you want to make this recipe even easier. You can slice an onion and throw it in there if you want. I'm going to stay pretty basic here. And then with your brisket, uh, corned beef brisket is just a brisket that's been um, brined with pickling spices. And then if it's pink, it has nitrates. Um, when it cooks, it will be either pink or gray. Both are fine. The pink one has nitrates, so if you're looking for no nitrates, you're not going to have that bright pink look. Throw in any pickling spices, any of the packet that comes with it. This isn't always in there, but it's usually in there. So also you want to put that brisket into the crock pot with the fat side up, and that just protects and insulates the meat. Um, and then put that, nestle that into the potatoes and carrots. Chop up a small head of cabbage, quarter it, take out the stem. Um, Chop off, slice off any aphid damage, any dirty parts. Um, washing cabbage is hard because it's, you know, in a big, it's a compact, tight uh, vegetable. So uh, cut off any bad parts. Anyway, throw in some water, set your cabbage aside. This is about four cups. It doesn't need to cover the brisket, but it needs to come about halfway up. So I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours, and then I'm going to throw in the cabbage. This is at hour five because i got to go run some errands, but you can throw it in at hour six or hour seven. But um, if it's a big head, you might even need to steam it before it goes in because it might not fit in your crock pot. But throw, this is thrown in at hour five. I sometimes do it at hour six, and um, cook, continue cooking that on low. Comes out. It's beautiful. It's got a lot of fat on the top. Take a butter knife or a knife and cut off the fat. And then you're going to slice it along the diagonal. That's kind of hard on a piece of brisket like this because the diagonal is sort of off-center. So I'm going to start by slicing it off-center. You can slice it with the grain, but it's going to fall apart, especially if it's not cured, um, the pinker beef brisket. That's it. It's super simple. Um, you can use these leftovers for Rubens the next day by slicing it really thin. Um, you can also cook this with just sauerkraut if you don't want to deal with the cabbage, which is a really neat taste. Anyway, you can find this recipe at eatsimplefood.com.